Damn, I know R. Kelly about to go through it, boy. So the judge reportedly denies R. Kelly's request to ban jurors who watch Survivor R. Kelly documentary. And mind you, this is the same documentary that got R. Kelly in prison in the first place. Before this happened, he had like two or three girls living with him. They kept getting on camera talking about, there's nothing wrong with us. We safe. We safe. The parents coming to the front door with police officers. The police officers telling the parents, like, we can't do nothing about it. R. Kelly is legally having these girls. They're not underage. So even as a parent, they couldn't bring their own child's home. But after the documentary happened, that's when a whole bunch of stuff, like a whole bunch of investigations and stuff that he did in the past started coming back to light. And the girls that was living with him, they ended up going back home because they were saying that everything was coming crashing down. But before that, before 2019, he was all good. He was still living the life. He was still going on tour. He was still making money. He wasn't like putting on no new songs that was charting like he did back in the day. But he still had a career. He could still tour like all these legacy acts do. But after 2019, his music got took off all the all the platforms. He couldn't book no shows, and then they got his ass. They locked him up, and then he found out he won't make no money because his team was draining his money. So I don't know if that played a part in him getting sentenced to 30 years because usually people with money, they could beat the case, you know what I'm saying, or get the, the sentence reduced. But him getting 30 years, like, God damn. His, his legal team ain't do nothing to get his ass, like, no little time. But so everybody that watched the documentary – like the jurors who gonna decide whether he's innocent or guilty, they are still allowed to decide his fate. I know it could be kind of biased because the people that watch the documentary already made up their mind before the case even started. Before the trial even started, they made up their mind already. So it is kind of messed up, but the courts are already done with R. Kelly. It's being proved day in and day out. The courts are done with R. Kelly and all his antics. For them to allow jurors that watch the documentary to be on the on the stand it already show you what type of judge he dealing with so damn man free r kelly man he might not never come on what y'all think about this your boy b mix like i'm sorry